Hey everybody. First, I want to thank everybody for watching my videos. I really appreciate that. I don't do this to make money or anything like that. It started because I enjoyed my flights so much in the simulator that I wanted to watch some of them over so that I could actually sit back and enjoy the flight as well. And that's why I started posting some of these flights up. But, you know, the community that we have for flight simming, it seems to be unlike a lot of other communities for games and things like this because it seems to me that when somebody discovers something in this game, this sim that makes it better, they, they share it. Uh, you know, I mean, I've been putting my stuff up, but I'm no by no means the first. I'm way late in the game. There's been people putting up videos for settings and so forth long before I did. I just didn't see any that happened to fit my level of equipment. It is. It was either for really high end or really low end, not middle high end, which is what the 3070 is. Um, so, but what I was saying, is, you know, the community is great and some of the viewers of my videos have given some great tips. So I wanted to try a couple of them out. One of them was the asynchronous space warp in the virtual desktop app. Now, you can see that I'm trying to fly in more or less the same areas as I flew my original settings video in and you can see that the frame rates are well they're about the same you know they're, they're not really increased or decreased um, you can see that I'm getting 32 at the same time here I'm getting 31 and 30 you know 30 at the same time as I'm flying through Tokyo so I'm looking at basically the same thing so the frame rates did not change however it seems to me that what's flowing by my window with the asynchronous space warp enabled is smoother. The now the the recording of course is never going to be quite the same because it has a hard time staying you know keeping up with it and I I actually may have recorded the left-hand video on a slightly lower uh, capture rate so the graphics may not look the same but don't let that bother you or throw you here because that's that's any difference you see in the graphics really as far as quality goes is the recording but the asynchronous space warp like I said oh look I left the slew in there whoops um, all right we're caught up now but you can see you know when I was pointing out at the river at that time I was getting 36 and so the the frame rates like I said are pretty much the same I would say the graphics quality is the same but the smoothness I think is improved with that although now they don't call it the asynchronous space warp well, in there uh, they have a different name which I will double check and tell you what that is Okay, so I've been saying asynchronous space warp, but it's actually the synchronous space warp. SSW is what it's called in the virtual desktop app. And I normally have that turned off. I've always had it off. But based on someone else's suggestion, I have now enabled that to be always on. And like I said, I'm not seeing a real I mean you can see it here I'm flying in the same area and the frame rates are more or less staying in that same exact range with each other um, and I'm just gonna finish it out here as a passenger in the back seat of the plane as we fly over the Penne Alps Penne Alps I don't, still don't know how to pronounce that but again I do not see a frame rate increase with changing this but I see a smoothness increase to the scenery as it passes by my window. So I think it's worth checking out and trying out on your systems. It, it can't hurt, right? I mean, it doesn't hurt to put something like this on. Um, it's not quite like the other settings where you have so many combinations and then you make six changes and you can never get back to the combination that worked last. So this is just one setting change. Try it enabled or always on and see if you agree. But to me, in my eyes, what I'm seeing as I'm flying here is the scenery is smoothly passing by my window. Thanks for watching, and I really hope this helps. See you in the skies.